Hey YouTube, it's Justin AK Demonic Sweaters here with an electronic drum video today. I'm going to show you guys how to build, well not really show you how to do it, but I'm going to give you kind of a guide on how to build an entire drum set, an acoustic to electronic drum conversion, uh, pretty much like the one I did here. Uh, this one I based on a Tama Club Jam flyer kit, uh, but I put together a whole list of products where you can buy everything you need and I'll post all the links down below to build your own complete electronic drum set, heads, triggers, modules, hi-hat controller, everything, bass drum pedal, hi-hat stand, everything you need for under $1,000. In fact, it'll be $991.02. But before we get started with that, I wanna tell you guys about my sponsor, which is DistroKid. DistroKid help you get your music on all the streaming platforms such as Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play Music, YouTube music, as well as TikTok, Instagram, and everywhere that music is streamed, DistroKid can get your music there for you for one low annual fee. All you have to do is pay the annual fee, then you can upload as much music as you want all year round. They have a ton of other great features like instant Spotify verification, lyric synchronization, as well as Spotify playlists, and all kinds of other great stuff to help you get your music to all of your fans in the best way possible. Check out DistroKid if you want to get 7% off that $19.99 a year fee. Click my link down below and that'll take you there and you can get a discount. So let's go ahead and get started on this list. Now, the, the drum set that I assembled here for you guys is pretty similar to mine. It's not exactly like it, but basically everything on this list, I tried in one way or another when I was building this set and I know all this stuff will work. So if you buy everything that's on this list and you put it together, that is going to work and it's going to work pretty well. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing you're going to need is a drum set. Now, the drum set that I selected for this project is the Ludwig Pocket Kit. The one that I'm using is actually a Tama uh, Club Jam Flyer, which you could buy as well. But the reason why I went with the Pocket Kit is number one, it's a little bit cheaper and two, it comes with more stuff. Uh, basically, you know, the wood type and all that stuff doesn't really matter on this type of project. So as long as it has decent hardware and, you know, it holds together well, then you can pretty much use any drum set. So the reason why, you know, I thought the pocket would be good is one, it's pretty cheap. It's only $269. It comes with a bass drum, a snare drum, a rack tom, a floor tom, a snare stand, a bass drum pedal, a hi-hat stand, as well as a ride cymbal and hi-hat, but we're not gonna need those. Uh, and then it also comes with a ride cymbal mount like this. You know, I had to buy a lot of the individual parts on this set, so it ended up costing me a lot more than this project that I'm showing you guys. Another good thing about the Ludwig Pocket Kit is it's small. Uh, this drum set is very small too, and it's pretty similar in sizes. It's actually a tiny tad bit bigger than this one. This one has a 14-inch bass drum, but the Ludwig Pocket actually has a 16-inch bass drum which actually a lot of you might like a little bit more. And then it has a 10 inch tom here, and then a 12 inch tom, or sorry, a 13 inch floor tom, and a 10 inch snare drum, where this one's a 10, 10, and eight. So everything's just a little bit bigger on the Ludwig Pocket, uh, but you know, it's still a very compact set, so it won't take up a lot of space. And plus it looks really cool and it comes in three different finishes. It comes in an all black finish, like kind of a uh, white uh, sparkly looking finish and then a black or a red sparkle finish. So it has three different options, whereas this one only comes in one. So after that, you're gonna need some symbols. And the symbols that I selected were all Pintex. Uh, I like Pintex symbols. They're very inexpensive and they function really well. Uh, these here are PC series. And what I did is I selected a PC series for the ride and it's a dual zone ride, so you'll, you'll be able to get a, rock, a bell sound out of the ride as well as a bow sound out of the ride. And that is $109, and that's the most expensive symbol on this list. Uh, in addition to that, we have the TC 14 inch crash, uh, which is similar to this one. It's uh, pretty much the same thing. It's just, uh, this one's a little clear, but the, the uh, TC series isn't clear. It's just solid black. I have one of those as well. It's just not on here right now but they function really well. So that's gonna be the crash symbol. All right, for the hi-hat, we're actually gonna use another Pintech uh, TC series symbol, just a 10 inch version. And the 10 inch version will fit you know, well on a hi-hat stand and you can use a regular hi-hat clutch that comes with the Ludwig pocket. So that'll work perfectly for that. I actually have one of those as well. 
And those symbols, the uh, 14 inch is $44.33, and the 10 inch is $39.67. Two very inexpensive symbols. And then we have our controller for the hi-hat. And we're gonna use the same exact one that I'm using here, which is a Go eDrum hi-hat controller. And this controller works great. Um, I've been using it you know, for several different modules, and it works really, really well. It's very inexpensive at only $59. So a very good deal on the Go eDrum hi-hat controller. Then after that, we're gonna need triggers uh, for all the drums. So what we're gonna use are these D-Drum Red Shot triggers. You can get a five pack, which will actually end up giving you an extra trigger, but that's okay because you know it's still cheaper to buy this five pack for $99 than it is to buy individual triggers for every drum. So $99, it's a great deal. They work really, really well when you have them set up correctly with the correct heads. Uh, the bass drum one works perfectly. Everything works perfectly with these. So I've used them, I've been testing them on several different modules, and I never have a problem with them. And like I said, it's $99 for a five pack. So that's a really great deal for those. So we're also gonna need some mesh heads. The mesh heads that I selected are the exact same mesh heads that I'm using here, which are Prism uh, dual ply black mesh heads. Uh, these, if you buy for the entire set, for the batter side only, it comes to $96.10, and you can buy them directly from the Prism website, which there's also a link down below for that. And uh, these heads are just great. Now, if you wanted to add resonant heads, I do recommend adding uh, mesh heads on the bottom as well, but you don't need to do that. The other option is you can just take off the bottom head and then you won't have any problems with re-triggering or you know, the head bouncing back. Uh, so you can take off the bottom heads on all the drums or uh, the bass drum is fine to leave it out is. The other option is just to stuff the drums with paper towels or some kind of uh, you know, filler to keep them from rebounding too much. Uh, when you have a mylar head on the drum, one thing that I discovered is a lot of times it can cause an air you know, rebound which will make uh, the triggers re-trigger. So you don't want that. And then the third option, and actually the best option if you don't want to spend any money or stuff the drums full of anything, is literally just to cut a big hole out of the bottom heads. Uh, you can just take a sharp knife and just, you know, leave a little bit of space on there so you can tighten down the bottom rim, but you just cut a hole out, you know, to let air pass through. So that's really all you need to do for those. All right, now like I mentioned before, the Ludwig Pocket actually comes with a ride cymbal mount. So that'll take care of the ride cymbal, but it doesn't come with a crash stand. So you will need to buy one crash stand. And the crash stand that I uh, recommend for that is a Gibraltar cymbal stand, which is only $49.95. And it's a heavy duty stand and it'll last you forever. Gibraltar makes really great stuff. And for the money, you really can't beat them. Uh, it's actually a much heavier duty stand than the one that I have here. This is a uh, flat based Ludwig stand, but the Gibraltar stand will probably work better than that stand actually, and it's only 49 bucks. Now, in addition to that, you're going to need something to hold your drum module. Now, the drum module can be held by basically the same thing that I have on this module right here, and it's a part by Roland, which is like kind of a little bracket thingy uh, called the APC-33, and that is $49. Uh, it's really, you know, just like the easiest thing to use because it has all the hardware you need to mount the module and you can just clamp it right onto a cymbal stand that makes it super easy. Now you're also going to need cables to hook everything up. The cables that I use is actually a monoprice cable snake. Now the cable snake is a good thing to buy because it has all the cables basically wrapped up in this sleeve, but they're all individual cables. So you can plug them into pretty much any module and then into all of your individual triggers on your drums. Finally, you're going to need a drum module. Now, the modules that I'm recommending for this budget build are a Roland TD-5 or a Roland TD-7 module. These are very old drum modules, but as I've demoed on my channel, they're actually really, really good sounding modules for the price. You can find them for about $99 to $150. Uh, it's really the best deal that you can find. Plus, they have variable hi-hats, you know, as far as the controller goes, and you just get a lot of expressiveness out of these modules, plus dual zone symbols and things that you can't get on more modern, you know, budget drum modules. So I definitely recommend one of those. And those you're gonna have to pick up used, but I'll post a link down below for reverb.com where you can find those. And they come and go pretty often. So the TD7 or the TD5 Roland drum modules. And that's pretty much all you're gonna need to build an entire set like this. 
Putting the whole set together is fairly simple. Uh, it's basically like setting up a drum set, putting new heads on it, then the red shot triggers go on very simply. They just screw on there. You just plug everything in and you're good to go. So it really doesn't take a lot of effort to make this build, nor does it cost a lot of money. Um, to get you know, an electronic drum set with full shells uh, like this is going to cost you several thousand dollars if you were to buy one from a manufacturer or a custom drum builder. And you could build one your, yourself, like I said, for under a thousand bucks. You know, granted, this is all single zone triggers. You know, you're going to be a little bit limited, but it leaves you a lot of room for upgrades in the future. Plus, you have a fully capable acoustic drum set as well, because none of the stuff that you're putting on this set will permanently change the set. You can always take the triggers off and use the drum set acoustically if you would like. So it's a really, really good option and a great way to get started. Now, this project really isn't going to be for everybody. Some people would rather just buy a complete electronic drum set and they're pretty much happy with that. You know, I had an Alesis Nitro Mesh and I think it's a really great product, but I like doing DIY projects like this and like having my own unique stuff. So that's why I like to do this kind of thing. And I know a lot of other people do as well. And they want to get into, you know, building their own drums and just experimenting. You know, you could take the ideas that I gave you here and just kind of change it to your liking and try some different things. You could buy a better module. You could buy another crash and another stand give yourself two crashes like I have. You know, there's a lot of different options you can do. So anyway, this should get you started though on building an electronic drum set for Undergrand. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you guys have fun building the drums and I'll see y'all really soon. Take care.